What are the weights of a graph? Well, the weights of a graph are the cost from going from one vertice to another. So we can give that a label here. Let's give it a number. Let's say that one's four. This one's seven. This one is 13. Here we have a five on that one. This one, a two. We'll give that one a one and that an eight. And we can label our vertices if you want. A, B, C, D, and E. The weights are the cost from traveling from one vertice to another vertice. This can be a physical cost, like a dollar amount being represented. It can be a distance. It can be the time it takes to travel or just basic units like we have here. That's a cost now from traveling from A to B cost us four. That's our weight. So the weight from A to B is four. Now, be careful here with our graphs. Notice we have, an, in, in a way, an intersection between A, E, and B, D. There's no vertice there. That means there is no intersection there in graph theory, okay? Now, our weights also, be careful, just because a line is longer than another line doesn't mean the weights are more. Notice A to E has a weight of five, which is less than D to E. So we can find the overall weight to go from A to E by going, let's say A, C, D, let's go to B, and then E. So a path from A to E would have an overall cost. We, we have A to C is one plus eight, plus D to B is two, plus B to E is seven. And that's 10, eight and two is 10, we have 11 here plus seven is 18. And so the cost from going A to E on this specific path would be 18. So I hope you learned something here on the weights of a graph and graph theory, and thanks for watching.